black men and white women. Right. There are a lot of biracial children on there who are talking about how their mother's family and or father's family at times, right, is racist to them. So do you feel comfortable allowing your daughter around your family? Uh, yeah, I would say, yeah, you know, uh, I, I don't think that they would say anything inappropriate or, you know, anything like that around my daughter. I think they're, you know, pretty, uh, pretty civilized when it comes to that. You know, I'm not sure there's, you know, like you said, there, there are parents who may say the wrong thing or around the child and, you know, be racist around them or maybe even to them, but I, I wouldn't say I have that problem with my family at all. I think, uh, you know, I think they, they, they are very proud of my daughter and, you know, there's no problem there. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, because what, what would you do if there was a problem? Would you, would you disown your family if they, if they made your daughter feel yeah. Like yeah. Wise? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There we go. There we go. It's only so much, it's only so much grace you can give folk, especially when it comes to your children. So shout out to Mocha Mommy, thank you for the super chat. Mocha Mommy is from Texas. Uh, what is ATX? Austin. Yeah. Austin, Texas, and Joe is from Dallas, right? Dallas. Yes. Yeah. And to that I say, yeehaw! Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm always like, don't stereotype me. And the first thing that I do, anyone's from yeah. Texas, I'm like, Yeehaw! Okay. Horrible! Horrible! <laughs> well, you know, you have to. I think I'd do the same thing if I seen somebody with a cowboy hat. I'm like, oh, yeah, look at this guy. Yeah. He shows up on a live with his cowboy hat on. Yeah. Do you wear cowboy hats? Just to let everybody know. Yeah, I'm wearing my boots right now. Oh, my uh, just God! Just to let everybody know. Everybody in Texas does not wear a cowboy hat. You got a pretty hard <laughs> to wear with boys. Oh, wow. So, okay. You, you got to so do you ride? Uh, yeah, we have two horses. So I ride every now and then. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you t- are you teaching your daughter horse riding? Oh, yeah. Yeah, she was oh, she was God. riding uh, back when she was like a year and a half old. We were putting her on a horse and walking her with it. Oh. And then when she was about three years old, my mom was showing her how to walk a horse, which I didn't really like that. I thought she was a little too young to be walking a horse, but, you know, but, uh, so yeah, she's definitely not scared of horses. You know, she'll get on one today and ride it all over the pasture. Yeah, I grew up around horses and in a barn and I was never scared of getting on one. You know, was other family members that were, but I never was. And I was just like, you know, let's do it, you know. So you country boy, you out, you out in the, in the, yeah. you don't live in the city, right? Because you're in Dallas, but you don't live in the city. Yeah, it's kind of the suburbs of Dallas. Okay, okay, okay. I've, I've been to Austin. I don't know anything about Dallas or anything like that. Um, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> because I went on a horseback ride once and the horse, I'll never forget it was one of the most traumatizing experiences of my life the horse's name was Sodder and it was the most unruly horse and the guy that you know was in charge was like Sodder, Sodder and I was like ah you know, but I could really you could just feel all of that power underneath you you know, and that terrified me yeah. that terrified yeah, me they're, they're really very muscular big animals <laughs> yeah yeah. How does your girlfriend no, like horses? To... What's that? I'm sorry, that reminds you of what? Oh, I said they, or, they kind of remind me of myself. Just, just oh, okay. Save a horse, ride a cowboy. Okay. Save <laughs> a 